This has me absolutely enthralled, I am I must admit. I haven't enjoyed fighting all these various issues in a long time like this. It's really fun. It's difficult, but fun. Let's see. Can't we find someone who's good at sieging? Ah, he's he's decent. Oh no, we have to do this again. Let's see. Hey, he's, he's fun. Got a good commander going. I'll need to do something about that faction there. Anything, really. I'm going to be honest, that up here is one of the scariest thing in this game. Especially if you are already in a bad situation all around. Come on, arrive quickly. Don't let them win the siege. Very well done. For some reason, my commander left. Make space for no one. Taking this. Let's go siege here. It's not ideal splitting our troops like that. But if you're just careful enough, and I honestly don't see a lot of enemy troops anymore. Down here. can siege this, but we can siege Genoa. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 thank you. No, thanks. I have no desire of going there. None whatsoever. Why is there a battle happening? Okay, it's not our battle happening. Move there. Oh, he's a flanker. Do we get them all? Just a piece. Oh, all of them. Very good. Beating a few crusaders into submission. Quite the army all of a sudden. Happily abandon that siege to make sure we don't lose. So what we have done, we have successfully forced the Crusaders to separate their interests. Did not allow them to purely build momentum in one place and crush us there. But 
big but how many troops we got here Six thousand. we need to move more up there because there's suddenly as you can see a whole bunch of crusaders walking around Ten thousand. a sizable army we just kind of put our troops together i think they're going to ship them down here but we will have to wait and see how that works out we will have to go and attack once more how many troops do we have left enough to deal with the 10,000 crusader army so we're going to sail here pick up more troops and start attacking capitals of all the other crusaders such as Genoa ah they're coming by land okay ah there's another big blob right So they have basically no holdings anymore in my lands, which is nice. Okay, we need to move quickly before they get up strength again. All right, they are coming together. And there's another 16,000 coming there. So we go back to our strategy. Not going to engage them. We'll keep this up and harass them at home. We'll combine these two armies and attack Genoa. With our best and brightest in military capabilities. There's 26,000 coming. There's 20,000, 6,000. Okay, we're just kind of banking on attrition again. Can we maybe... It is sieging down everything that I retook. But maybe we can get some more troops in the mix again. Not nothing. Another 700. Send them down here. Oh wow, how, how are they doing that? That's really strong, their defense there. Okay, we have suffering attrition. So we need to quickly set these troops. Luckily he moved out of the way instead of fighting us.
Okay, we have another commander slot open. I want an alliance, maybe? Oh, oh he's a Mongol. Ah, can't. Uh, he doesn't own land. That's not about us, it's about them. So as you can see, by combining their troops here, they are suffering quite a bit of luckily for us. And, oh, still attrition. Okay, split once more. How much troops can this hold? Oh, we're not the only ones here. That's the issue. Another huge army sitting around there. Okay, well, can we split these further? No, these are retinue, I think. Attrition shouldn't kill us all that much. Let's have a check back home. There's 15,000, 21,000. We can just go and retake this in a moment. Maybe even face one of those armies, but only if just one army is moving down. If Two armies are moving down, we are not engaging. We will just wait. Should probably wait in a little bit of a better spot though. Just my 500. Did they get taken out? Uh, might just happened. We need to keep a bit of an army here to counter siege just in case. There's one more hospitaler to siege down there. How many can this hold? Again, some. Foreign armies moving through here. I think we need to attack France and England up here directly. I mean, there's two capitals right next to each other. Let's do that. You know what? Let's do that. We'll leave this army there. Pull everyone from here onto the ships. Let's see if they want to engage us. They might. We have hills. Might be okay. I let them suffer attrition a little bit. There they come. Or oh, something is coming anyway. Get our troops in prime condition. The defender leads the center. Narrow flank on the narrow flank. Let's see what attacks us. Oh, it's not some of our allies that are fighting amongst each other. It looks tempting to just attack here. But they are in a position to immediately throw us back into the sea. So what we are going to do is go on a surprise offensive. So, so far we haven't seen huge armies down here, so this might be alright to take care of things. Got to keep an eye on this down here. 
Yeah, let's... Oh no, we are infected. Not another one dying early. Okay, this siege is going quicker than our siege, so I think we just have to sit them on there. Let's give them some sort of leadership. Anything is fine. Nothing is not great. Okay, they have 30,000 sitting there. Why am I not moving away? Because if they attack with 30,000 into hills with the right leadership, might just work out in, in our favor. Well, not in our favor, but it might work out for us. Might just. We need to take care of this, that it's not being taken from us again. Do that, we do that. Also, there's ever more troops of our allies joining as well. I really okay. We're just going to go straight for Paris. No idea if this is going to work. It'll just have to. Why are we suffering attrition still? We're going to build a fort. I don't think it helps us in this uh, situation. We're still going to do it. Okay, now they're attacking because they have another 15,000 coming. So we're in a really, really bad position. All of a sudden. Really, really bad position. Bad position. Any troops we can muster? Doesn't matter if they're going to hit to be hit now. We just raise what we can raise and send them down here into the meat grinder. Nothing here, nothing there, nothing anywhere. So this is going to go bad, 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 bad for us. Oh. They've actually changed their mind. What is this? Planes? Nothing in between us? Let's see what we can get in terms of commanders. Flat terrain expert, perfect. He's perfect. And a cavalry leader. Leader, also good. Okay, is there anywhere we can put this army? Yes, we can put it between them. That is probably a real bad idea. Can we put it here? There, there. Put it there. This is not going to go well, I don't think. Okay, well, one of them joined us. That one joined us. So he will be an aggressive leader. He gets on the flank. Gets on that flank and then we go attack here. And just simply hope for the best. He's going to... I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to move his army down. Yeah, 
There they come. But let's see how much we can manage before they arrive. Break one flank. One flank is broken. Break another, come on. We've broken all flanks and they've been delayed by a small force. So we can sit here and let them attack. Oh, this is working out way better than I thought. Okay, let's put our defender in the center now. Nar narrow flank is still narrow flank. Fla fram bar bar Sorry, I am excited. Uh, I think we should put the flat terrain expert on this flank. Oh, no, 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 we leave the cavalry guy. Oof. Mm, okay. <laughs> God. This is exciting. So they will attack us now. They have a lot of troops coming still. Let's see, can we move away from here quick enough? When will we arrive? We will arrive in six days. They will arrive... I don't even think we can see that yet. Twenty first of August. And by then we are gone. So we can just turn around and attack them again. If we do choose to do so. Oh no. There we there we got caught. Oh we got caught. Well sort of. Kind of. That was weird. But okay. We managed. That, those were some huge victories now, just now. Huge. I cannot overstate the importance of what we just accomplished here. That was crazy. Speaking of crazy. Ah, that's a rebel army. Really mind a rebel army. How much attrition are, you, are we suffering? A bit. Okay, let's split. And conquer both of these at the same time. Let's try that. Oh, okay. I think we completely deleted. Well, no, not completely. No, there's, there's still some left. Some 11,000. Okay, we need to move against these quick. Quick, quick, quick. Let's get our aggressive flat terrain leader in the middle. Flank on the flank. Everything else is good. Let's, let's push immediately. The allies of ours are following, I, I kind of hope. Or we just overcommitted. Nope, they're following. Good, crashed into the next Crusader army. Taking it to task. There we go. Another huge victory. Sadly, not so much in uh, numerical value. In terms of how much it gets us. That's okay, let's help our little army there. Win. Maybe we can arrive in time. Come on, come on. Raiders. Immediately jump on that. Not even going to wait for them to consolidate one bit. Okay, so this is not the capital we are at war with. So we're just going to... Let's see if we survive until then. Can you please straighten up? Please, I need some straightening up. I have a court physician. So who taster who hates us? This boy. We already have a court physician. Let's have be this guy. Okay, what can we do? A lot of money, but maybe it gets him out of the faction. less money
God, there's a whole lot going on here. Okay. What did we lose? Another commander. So where are we? Okay, we can only only have 85% of war score from this. We do need to keep beating them in battles. Okay. There's a lot of troop movement which I don't appreciate, so we're going to move out here and bring everyone back home, except for what we keep here. Because we need to win against them in battles exclusively. Now, that is what's happening. That is what we're doing. Let's first fight them here, next, fight them there. And so on and so forth. No longer infected, very good. Got troops out there just in the nick of time because there's a whole lot of stuff. So let's send our boys home. Blend them in here. Is he leading troops? But he's incapable. How have we still not killed him? Oh, died. So did our plot. That's a Crusader army gone. Take back what they took from us in sieges. I think uh, what I'm going to do now, to help this a little bit, I'm going to tell all my allies to go hunt the enemy. I will take care of the rest. Since I don't see any death blobs anymore, we're going to pick the strongest ones out. Or most of the strongest ones to attach still. The real big ones, the 2000 ones. Going to attach to us. Ah, this one this one can go hunt enemies. Is he new? 18,000. Where are these even? Back there. There's a little the Crusader army.
Our own armies are pretty much reunited. Right, so the thing that we saw earlier, delaying a large army with a smaller army, it happened on accident. But I think you can use this as a tactic in the future. Deliberately singling out smaller contingents of armies to just stop an advancing larger army. I think that's a sensible tactic. In most ways. Our decadence is starting to become an issue too. So this is now how long? This is now a 10 year crusade and it's still not done. We are slowly clawing ourselves back up, but this one is one of the most impressive military engagements I've had in this game ever. Man. What a huge amount of excitement, really.